doing a timing belt on an EJ255. This would apply to pretty much any of the Dover Kim turbo EJs. See, I'm going to double check the timing and give you a few tips on the whole the whole ordeal. So you can see the center is perfect. And you got this, the left cam, aka the right cam if you're being proper. It's perfect. And let's check down here. The mirror. And that down there is perfect. But when we get over here, what's the deal with that? This scares a lot of people when the first when you do the timing belts. See, this is appears to be off right here. Okay, and then down here. That is just about perfect. It's off just a hair, not a whole lot. But this one seems to be off the most. Right here. The problem is, it can't be off a full tooth. Because um, here's the tooth right here. And if we were to move it from this to this, it would be right here. The mark would be exactly the opposite end. Uh, this is a belt that's uh, a Mitsuboshi belt, and it's marked perfectly. Let's see here and here, but it seems to be off a half a tooth, and that is actually normal. So don't freak out. Uh, what I do. And and I've and lots of other people, including myself, have done this timing belt, you know, factory guys and all that stuff. The if the belt is off just a hair right here, that's fine. What I'm gonna do is show you what's going on here. I'm just gonna crank it up just a hair. It's about a half a tooth. Okay. This guy is just off about slightly. That's slightly. Everything's slightly. It's just like less than a half a tooth. Basically, the whole point is that the timing belt's not going to be perfect when you first put it on. And as the belt stretches a little bit, um, as the belt stretches, it will actually line up better. I've noticed when the car comes back for another timing belt or a water pump failure or something like that, uh, when I take it apart, it's uh, the, the marks are perfect. So just take it from me. Don't worry about it. Uh, if it's off just a little bit on one side, half a tooth. That's okay, but you're better off uh, making sure the marks are correct on the belt. And uh, what I do is I get the original belt, see how bad this one is, and I mark them, and then I lay it on top of the new, or I put the new belt on top, and I ma match them all up and make sure they're exactly the same, and they are. So it's just that the old belt has more stretch on it, and that's okay. Another thing that I've noticed is when you, this is not actually top dead center. This is actually in the middle. All the pistons are gonna be all halfway, okay? And that means that if you, uh, you can actually spin these around and it won't damage anything. Piston, no, there's no, not going to be any contact with the, with the valves and the pistons. Uh, it's actually in the service mode. 
So when in service mode, you can you cannot damage your valves. Subaru is freaking awesome like that. And if you bring it to actual top dead center, that would be over here with the little arrow mark. Then you're gonna get um, piston contact with the valves. So don't do that if you're servicing the timing belt. Anyway, just wanted to give you a little tip on timing belt jobs on, on these Subarus, because it is a little sketchy. I'm gonna bring it back up here. When checking, you want to have it clockwise and then stop. So if, if everything looks good, except this is off half of a tooth, then you're okay. If it's off one tooth, you got a problem. But half a tooth and slightly to the left on this side is totally fine. Um, And if you move it just a little bit, they all seem to match up. Just off by, you know, half a tooth, so. It's, it's kind of annoying for a perfectionist like me, but it is what it is. All right. Uh, hopefully this helps you guys out that are scared, like I am, doing these timing belts. The, I've noticed the single cam, like these guys, is actually less uh, difficult to do. There's no, the timing belts are always right on the money, so it's just these twin cams are a little bit sketchy. All right. Okay, for further confirmation, I've got another engine here that has the factory timing belt, never was touched. And I put some marks on it. Okay, so we got this lined up perfectly right here, crankshaft. And we look over here, and we can see. Let's see, yeah, this guy's lined up right on the money. This one's on the money, just about. Got these little marks. They're a little slightly off, but it's close enough. And then, what do you got here? Wow, look how far off it is. And then up here, it seems to have the same, same deal. Let's see. Yeah, it seems to be off just a little bit. Half a tooth. And down here. Seems to be pretty close. Yeah, that's pretty close. So up here, it's about half a tooth off. So basically what I'm saying is you got nothing to worry about. The, this is a factory belt, has never been touched. And yeah, you can tell here. So, if you're worried about your, your timing being off, just a hair, don't be worried about it. As long as its mark is slightly off to the counterclockwise by half a tooth up here, and everything else is pretty, pretty much spot on, then you're golden. Remember, if it's one tooth, one tooth is going to be way over here or way over here, you know, the mark. Okay? All right, let's put this thing back together and get it back on the road. Start smashing on some Evos, bro. Do some launches in the air, bro. Do some rally, bro. All right, thanks for watching. Um, you got any questions or you think I'm an idiot or whatever, just write something in the comments. Give me a like, share this video. I know a lot of people are going to doing their own maintenance on their WRXs and STIs and whatnot, and they're going to need this video to help them out because uh, it's definitely scary. If you, if you don't do this right, you know, something goes wrong, you can bend valves and whatnot. So it's always good to double check and watch 
uh, informed videos and do some research. The thing that got me is uh, doesn't seem to have this kind of information in the, uh, in the uh, database that I have here. It just says line up all the marks, but they don't line up perfectly. So don't worry about it. It's just fine. It's normal. All right, you guys, take it easy. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Da -da 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 -da.